Hey there, welcome to DIY Projects with Pete. Today we're going to make some decorative skis that can be hung indoors or outdoors. This is a great last minute gift idea. They're simple to make, you can knock it out in just a couple hours and make them for under $20. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. We'll start by cutting the fence pickets to the height you want them to be. I used six foot fence pickets that were three and a half inches wide and cut a couple inches off. To make the pointed end of the ski, I placed a pint glass on the board and traced a half circle. I then freehanded a point toward the tip. Next, cut out the ski tip using a jigsaw. You can use the first ski as a template and trace around it so you get matching ski tips. Cut out the second ski tip and then do a quick sanding over both skis to smooth them out and remove rough edges. Round over the tips of the skis as well. Create baskets for the bottom part of the ski poles using some scrap wood. Use a spray can to create the rounded part of the basket, and you'll want one side of the ski pole basket to be flat so it sits flush against the ski. Then drill a hole in each basket for the half inch wooden dowel pole to go through. One of the holes will be right on the edge for the pole that rests flat on the ski. The other hole will be more towards the middle. Cut out each ski pole basket with a jigsaw, and then round over and smooth out the pieces with a sander. Determine where the skis will cross each other by lining up the ends with the edge of the work surface and then decide how much you want the skis to cross over. Once it looks good to you, add a little wood glue where the skis will cross, then pre-drill and attach the skis to each other from the back using four wood screws. Create a point for the bottom of each ski pole using a sharp knife. Give it a round over with the sander and then set the poles on the skis to determine placement. One pole will not be cut and the other pole will be cut in half so it can cross at the center of the other pole and still be fastened flush with one of the skis. If you have any questions on this process, you can check out the detailed tutorial and photos at DIYP.com forward slash decorative skis. After you've cut one of the poles, lay the split pole flush on one ski and the complete pole will cross through the break. When they look about right, we'll remove them and get to painting. I picked up a sample of some green exterior paint for $3 and it was more than plenty to paint the skis. To give them a weathered look, I mixed a small amount of paint in a cup with about a 1 to 1 ratio of paint to water. Simply brush on a coat of the mixture on the front and sides of the skis. And you can paint the back if you'd like, but most likely the backs won't be seen. I painted the baskets using the same process, but this time with a white paint. Next. I stained the entire pole with golden oak stain, and once they were all stained, I painted the handle area of the poles with the same white paint as the ski pole baskets. All right, so once we have everything painted, we can start assembling. So the point of the pole is going to be about six inches from the bottom, and this is one complete dowel, and then this other one is cut in half so that it can rest flush on this board here. Okay, so this is gonna be about six inches up as well. Six inches up. All right, we'll center that. See what this is, this is about 17 and a half. And this is about 17 and a half. So we got plenty of room there. Okay. And then this is all going to be covered up with, you know, a ribbon or whatever you wanna put over it. So we're good there. All right, so once we have everything lined up, we'll attach it, and you can do that using nails and a hammer, or if you have an air nailer, that will work as well, and we're going to use some glue too. Put glue on the back side of each ski pole basket, and a little on the back of the split pole. Then attach each pole in place using one inch nails. I used some two inch nails to attach the baskets to the skis as well. The uncut pole will only be fastened at the center area and ski pole basket area. Seal the skis with either a spray or a brush on sealer so they can be used indoors or out for many years to come. Once dry, attach a bow or garland to cover the center area and to dress up the skis with a little holiday spirit. And that's all there is to it. We're all set.
All right, thanks so much for tuning in to today's project. I hope you enjoyed learning how to build these decorative skis. They would make a great gift. In fact, I'm giving these to my mom for Christmas and uh, they're easy to make, so I invite you to go for it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That's going to help inspire more DIYers to make stuff. Thanks again for watching and cheers from Montana. And if you're looking for another DIY gift idea, check out the video on how to make a beer caddy by clicking on the thumbnail and please subscribe. Cheers.